next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. Hello, I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster. Now in today's video, I'm not actually talking about Ghostbusters. Now if you're a regular viewer of my channel and you've seen my other videos, you know I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. I have a lot of Ghostbusters memorabilia. But I also love Back to the Future and that's what this video is about. I'm just showing off some of my Back to the Future collection. Uh, if you found this video because it's uh, about Back to the Future, uh, but you've never seen my other videos, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, please check them out. I'm also a professional magician and do Ghostbusters thing magic, so if you like the sound of that, check those out as well. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. But anyway, here is a look at my Back to the Future collection. And here is my Back to the Future collection, starting with the Hot Toys DeLorean. This is an absolute thing of beauty. I absolutely love this. You can see the flux capacitor flux in at the back. You can see all the detail here. It's just, it's just so, so good. Uh, to turn the uh, lights on, there's a, an off. There's a button there. Batteries are held under here. And, uh, yeah, really, really nice. And uh, I normally have him sitting in it, but I thought I'd get him out so you could uh, have a proper look. And that is the Hot Toys Marty McFly from Back to the Future 1. And uh, really good detail. So he's kind of in his sitting pose at the moment. I'm going to put him back in the car after this video. But you can see the detail on the clothes. Everything is just so good. And the face sculpt, really, really nice. Done a really good job of this. They also did Marty from Back to the Future 2 and Doc Brown from Back to the Future 2, which I never got unfortunately i wish i had the price that these hot toys uh, items go for now like i paid about 500 pounds for the delorean when it came out and i think about 130 for marty and uh, i think marty goes for about 500 on average and the delorean about two grand uh, last time i checked it's absolutely mental but anyway let's uh, move on so behind that we have the uh, back to the future monopoly and uh, on top of that is some uh, Biff uh, Tannen's Pleasure Paradise playing cards, which I do card tricks with occasionally. And then to that is the uh, Back to the Future Visual Dictionary. And then we have one of the reaction figures. This is a Japanese exclusive, uh, which is Marty coming with uh, Einstein. Oh, I love the reaction just figures, just the way they look. I think it looks really cool. Uh, above there we have some uh, pictures with some of the cast, who no doubt you will recognise if you're a Back to the Future fan. And uh, there's a sealed pack of the uh, top Back to the Future 2 playing cards. I've never actually got a full set of those. That's not, might be something I have to correct at some point. And uh, a photo with Tom Wilson, obviously Biff Tannen, Marty McFly himself, Michael J. Fox, Leah Thompson, The Rain, and Doc Brown himself, Christopher Lloyd. And if we go above there, uh, sorry about the light, that's a bit reflective this surface um we have the flux capacitor this was um i can't remember who made this i think it was diamond select um back in the day and i've got this really cheap because uh, let's see if you can see this some of the paint bubbled a little bit which um, didn't show up brilliant on the camera but it's bubbled a bit and i got it so cheap i didn't mind and i thought it kind of added to it in a weird way um i don't know what these go for nowadays but does light up as well but the battery compartment is on the back and I've got it screwed to the wall so I don't put batteries in it um, just because uh, if I have to change them it's just a faff getting off the wall but anyway above that are some uh, paper cups from the Back to the Future Secret Cinema which was an amazing amazing event it was so so good and uh, this is from Lou's Caf and this one is from the Hill Valley High and you buy drinks and they'd serve them to you in these so obviously I kept some and then if we move along uh, this is just um, some prop items I got off eBay, or, um, or prop replicas even, um, they're not official, uh, but I just uh, wanted to make a frame up. Um, yeah, so we've got a sports almanac, photo, tales from space, a match made in space, ooh la la. Uh, so yeah, um, I was quite happy how that came out. And then the frame next to it is uh, more stuff from the uh, Back to the Future Secret Cinema. So we've got like a postcard and uh, the newspaper at the back, that was the wristband to get in. And, just loads and loads of cool stuff there and the rosette on top is something that was uh, available to, to buy there. Above that is the rest of the reaction figures um, which again I really like and I believe there are Back to the Future 2 ones coming uh, uh, soon as I record this. 
then if we move to the shelf on the right uh, we have some of the uh, Playmobil collection I don't actually have the DeLorean for this collection but these are figures uh, except uh, these two come in a little box set uh, but these come from the uh, Playmobil advent calendar um, which was a really cool thing I wish they'd do one of those for Ghostbusters uh, but and that is the uh, what, cardboard uh, town hall from the advent calendar at the back um, the guy on the right, that's a pop figure of Cassian from Star Wars. Uh, if we move over, there's actually Star Wars stuff there, but that's for another video. Uh, and then some replica license plates. And then if we go along with some more pictures with the cast. And we're now going to come down. Uh, this is an older model of the uh, DeLorean as well. You'd push this and uh, it would light up. It doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. And then at the back is a uh, replica of the Pepsi Perfect come out in 2015. I uh, really like that. Uh, the mug um, uh, that's standing in is a Tom Wilson mug from the Diamond Pass where I've got the photo and an autograph which I'll show you shortly. And here's the uh, actual pass for that. And there's another Lou's Calf mug which I bought at Secret Cinema. And then this watch. Uh, I really love this watch. It's a bit silly for telling the time. Um, what you do is you press this button down and if we count the dots that light up, so four, Four. Five, uh, four. So that means it's 4.44 as I uh, film this. Oh no, is that... So I'm looking through a camera, I couldn't tell if that was uh, an extra light lighting up. But, uh, yeah, that's yeah, no, just the way it's signing sheet. Yeah, 4.44 and tells you the date as well. Um, and a fun feature of this is if you press the middle button, let's try and get some hope this shows. You press the middle button and you get this sequence and it travels in time and gives you a random date so we've got the 18th of December 2085 and again the 2028 so fun little feature um, I like wearing this occasionally but it's not the best way of telling the time after the count dots is a bit silly but um, there's a um, I can't remember whose artwork this is I apologize to the artist I bought this uh, at at Comic Con um, I really love this I'm gonna have to look that up and then this tote bag was from the uh, Secret Cinema, as were these flags. And then um, we'll come to that hoverboard in a second. Up here is uh, Marty's uh, hat from Back to the Future 2 and another one of the um, Secret Cinema cups. And then the hoverboard is the Mattel hoverboard that uh, came out on mattycollector.com. I can't even remember what year. I really like the box with this because it didn't actually have any Back to the Future branding on it. It was like as if you bought a real hoverboard in a shop. And I got this signed by quite a lot of the cast at Comic Con. Um, so let's uh, look down there. And I've got most of them to write little quotes on it. So, like, uh, like the guy he played, uh, Marvin Berry, wrote that new sound, listen to this. And uh, have Slacker down there. And then, uh, Top, Mayor Goldie Wilson, and uh, Claudia Wells, you played Jennifer, and um, she was a really nice, uh, nice lady. Um, the way I was holding the hoverboard, <laughs> I actually rubbed some of her signature off, and she went over it again for me. Uh, just silly on my part, but really nice that she did that. Um, and we got Tom Wilson, uh, Leah Thompson, who played the rain, and probably the best uh, or my favourite one on here is. Doc Brown himself, Christopher Lloyd. There he is. So it's very reflective, this. It's hard to get a decent uh, shot without getting light in it. Um, so obviously, Michael J. Fox is missing from this. Um, unfortunately, uh, he was at the Comic Con where I got uh, all these autographs, but unfortunately, I just couldn't afford him. He, he was only doing autographs if he bought his diamond pass for £500, which I know a lot of people. Um, you know, sort of uh, moaned about, but I thought, you know, he was giving it to his charity, and I mean, he has Parkinson's disease, so I can't imagine signing autographs is the easiest thing for him to do with his condition, so I think it was fine. Um, I couldn't afford it, I wish I could have done, but one of those things. Hopefully, one day um, he will attend another and I can get his autograph. Obviously, I would also like Crispin Glover, but um, I don't uh, know if he does Comic Cons, I've not seen him at one, but um, anyway, that is all my Back to the Future collection. I, I hope you like it, um, if you're new to my channel, you know, maybe you uh, 
we've only just discovered it because of Back to the Future. I normally do Ghostbusters uh, content, uh, so if you're a Ghostbusters fan, uh, please check that out. And if you like magic, obviously be sure to check out my Ghostbusters themed magic. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you uh, in the future. Until then, keep on busting.